Okay, so in a recent video, I managed to get the NVMe drive working on my Orange Pi 5. It hadn't been working for a little while, and I've had a question quite often about running Android on Orange Pi 5, so I thought I'd try to install it. I'm going to start off with my little Melee Mini PC, which is a Windows 11 device. So in the browser, let's do a search for Orange Pi 5, and click on the hardware bit here, and then click on the Orange Pi 5 and downloads and if we scroll down we've got various different things here I'm going to go with Orange Pi OS Droid this will work the same for the Android image because they're both using Android this is just a version with a more of a desktop interface now obviously you need to install the NVMe image so let's download that you see it's preparing the download down the bottom here and we'll come back when that's all finished Okay, so now that's finished, we can unzip it. From the Orange Pi site, you'll need a couple of tools. Uh, so if you go to Official Tools, you need to download the Android and Linux image writing tool. And in this location, you get the driver assistant as well. And you need to install the driver assistant, which is just an ordinary Windows executable file, which will auto install itself. If you want more detailed information on, on this full process, have a look at the other Android video. Uh, which just shows you how to install the tool and so on. So let's close down the browser, we don't need that anymore. Now we need to navigate to the Android tool and open that up. And RK Dev tool. So you can see it says no devices found. Then we need a USB cable connected from the Windows computer to the USB-C on the Orange Pi in this connection. I've got an NVMe drive plugged into my Orange Pi you can see here it's a little too long now we need to press the mask run button which is this one here so I'm going to get my fingernail right in there press and hold that down and then switch on the power and then you'll see on the display found one mask run device click on upgrade firmware click on firmware now we need to navigate to that download we've done just now. Mine's on an external drive in the Orange Pi 5 folder and it's in this folder, SPI Flash. Uh, oh, but it's not, oh okay, it's not unzipped yet. So let's go back to files, locate it. Looks like it was zipped twice. Uh, go into this folder we've already unzipped once and then right click and open uh, so I'm using WinRAR to unzip this so we should only need the big one and let's drag that into this folder okay so now this is the one we need to write so let's close that and is it going to show up yeah it does show up here look so let's click on that and hit open It'll take a few seconds to mount it and then let's click on upgrade and that starts to flash to the NVMe drive which is inside the Orange Pi 5 okay so it says that it's all done so what should happen now is the Orange Pi 5 should automatically start to boot into the system so I'm going to plug the HDMI cable in from my Orange Pi 5 into this monitor and my Orange Pi 5 has booted Android from the NVMe drive. I was expecting to have problems because others have been struggling with it. Now, whether it's because I've recently done a bootloader update in my previous video, uh, but uh, yeah, I haven't had to do anything extra to that and it is running from the NVMe drive. So let's check that this is all working. And uh, so I've installed the Play Store in my other video and also showed how to install it to an SD card. You can see the Chromium browsers there, file managers there. Uh, so the Aurora store, uh, I was told, is, is very good and uses all the Google official links, but it's not something I've used before. And let's grant installer permission. And let's see uh, if we've got ADA64 on here. I think I've done this before with the space. It doesn't need a space, does it? No, oh, maybe not. Okay, let's try the Chrome browser. And let's do it with Aptide, which is what I often use. It's just a bit easier than doing the Google Play Store. Let's 
let's open that up and allow it and install and let's open that up and do a search for ADA64 yeah so let's install that it's obviously going to work lovely and fast from this very fast storage device and system so you can see I've got a 4 gig Orange Pi 5 internal storage space yeah 130 so I didn't need to expand the partition or anything it's using all of the space on my drive and Android it's running Android 12 snow cone and this version is uh, version 0.0.6 .0 which I don't think I've, I've used this version yet this is the newest version that I've tried of this and if we do thermals you can see that we're running at a nice cool 33 degrees and I've just switched drives back to uh, Debian KDE Plasma version that I used in my previous video and it's not booting anymore and it was working absolutely fine before I installed Android to this drive so let's switch off I'm booting up Ambien on the SD card with the NVMe drive still in the Orange Pi and let's go into Ambien config which is here pop the password in and I want system install to update bootloader and the fix I did before install update the bootloader on mounted flash so I'm hoping this picks the NVMe drive and updates it so let's hit OK and yes takes about three or four minutes Interesting how it says it will update the bootloader on one or multiple of these mounted devices. So if you had more drives plugged in, it might sort them out as well. I'm not going to risk that. Okay, so that's all done. And let's shut this down. Take out my SD card with my little stick. If you haven't seen my SD card fix video yet, uh, switch that off and power it on so this is Debian KDE Plasma on the little 42mm uh, NVMe drive that's in there is it going to boot up with this bootloader update I think I turned it on too quick turn it off wait for the light to go out on this little uh, what is displaying power cable and then switch on that's better it's come up with 2.1 watts 2.4 it usually means it's doing something and it's loading up so so does that mean that Android is going to work now that I've done that fix I think it will but we'll soon find out uh, so you can see that's working I'm happy with that it's loaded whatever it was last on at the time so let's shut that down Raspberry Pi is so much easier than this uh, we really need a Raspberry Pi 5 so let's unplug this drive and plug this drive in so that was Debian this is Android and let's power off wait for the light to go out and power on 2.1 watts 1.8 2.1 come on no nope. <laughs> Android's not booting up oh so this has somehow stopped this from working uh, so it's not an easy thing to be able to switch between NVMe drives I mean maybe you wouldn't in your device I generally don't um, but yeah this I think Rockchip really need to sort out the way that operating systems boot and work. It's already hard enough working with ARM devices over x64 and x86 devices, which you can just do multiple operating systems so easy. But yeah, this is a pain. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.